Take a look at this. This is my book. Take a look. Okay. It's free? Yeah, I'm giving you for free. All you gotta do is ask her one question. What is your greatest struggle? What's my greatest struggle? Yeah. Uh, ego. <laughs> yeah, that's the greatest struggle. What is your greatest struggle? Life. Life? What about it, in a way? You told only one question, right? <laughs> a refugee from Iraq. Uh, we struggled uh, financially when we first came to Canada, and my, my family and I are still struggling to this day. So it's hard to uh, compete in a patriarchal society. All right, that fine gentleman you saw in the video, there is the one you see right here, Yahya Baru. Yahya Baru is his name. So here's what happened. Yahya handed me this USB stick. Often when people hand me a USB stick, I'm afraid to put it in my computer, because some of you have creative ideas of what should happen online. But I watched this, because you assured me it was safe. Um, and uh, it was this beautiful, positive message of something you're trying to do. That's right. And I watched it and I thought, you know what, this guy needs to be on our show. Struggles of a Dreamer uh, is the book. So thanks for taking the time, sir. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Of course. So tell me what, what happened. W where did you decide to do this? Well, it came about in uh, 2009. I mean, being a student, uh, second year at York University, I decided I wanted a challenge for myself. I wanted a way to, you know, I love storytelling and inspiration, so I decided I want to write a book. I want to write a book as a challenge, a way to inspire one million people with right. the courage to want to pursue their own goals and not just settle for whatever. Okay, so why that? Did you want to be a, uh, a Tony Robbins? Did you want to be that kind of guy? Did you want to be a Deepak Chopra? Like, why did you think that that was something you wanted to do? Honestly, at the time, I just, it was just the passion that was driving me, you know? It was something that I really wanted to do, but those, uh, those guys were people that I looked up to, mm. but it was, I wanted to be on their level. You know, I wanted to be able to make, uh, you know, a difference in people's lives. So why struggles of a dreamer? Talk about the, the, you know, the battle between dream and tradition from your point of view. Oh, absolutely. First of all, I mean, the book is fiction, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, it's about a young character who's supposed to be a farmer like everyone, mm -hmm. but because of his recurring dream, he goes against tradition to pursue his dream. Mm -hmm. And I came up with the storyline out of a uh, misunderstanding that I had with my dad. You know, I decided I wanted to write a book, told him about writing a book. He thought I was going to abandon school to do it. Right. So he says, focus, don't be distracted. I took it to mean don't do anything but school. Right. So of course I got upset, so I wrote the book in secret. You did? And that's how I came up with the storyline. But nothing against my dad. Right. He, he loves the book and I finished school How too. old were you when you came here from, you came from Nigeria, right? Yeah. How old were you when you came here? I was 13. 13, so yes. what do you remember from home? Oh, I remember, um, my family, for the most part, the relatives, um, you know, my neighborhood growing up, and of course, the warm weather. Yeah. <laughs> the warm weather. Wait, listen, you can publish a book, and you, you put this book out, and then I heard you knocked on, how many doors did you knock on? Today, 27,523 doors. To sell the book. That's right. Uh, is, is there a, a larger purpose, a larger movement that you want to be a part of? I want to be a movement in the sense that, you know, live in a world where people aren't afraid to just go out and try that thing they want to do, mm -hmm. rather than just say, oh, I'm going to wait till later. You know, go out and try it. Look, mate, so, that's why you're on the show. You did that with me a couple times. I went through this book. I watched your tape, and I love what you did, and I like the way you interacted with people. So thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you so much thank for having me. Thank thank you. You. That's the book right there. If you buy it, he won't knock on your door. Hold on one second. And you, like, knocking on 30,000-plus doors, yes. I'm sure you saw a myriad of reactions. Oh, yeah. Did any of them, were people really nasty to you? A lot of them were. <laughs> a lot. Some, there was a time where uh, some guy opened the door. He thought I was a pizza guy. I think he was hungry the whole day, and then the pizza guy was late. Opened the door, slams it on me. Really? Yeah. You're it like, was but terrible. I, but I don't have a pizza, but I have a dream. <laughs> You know? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's good to see you, man. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much right on. Thank you. Barua. Thank you. All right, that's what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.